Summertime is a great way for kids to get outside and play, but it also allows them to catch up on reading and creativity while school is out. Especially when the weather is like this. So joining us now is local author Jarrett Lerner. His work is aimed at elementary and middle school age students. Thanks so much for being on. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me. I'm very, excited to be here. Very nice to meet you. How did you end up on this path, writing these types of books? Well, I was very fortunate in elementary school to have a teacher who turned me into an author and uh, or into a reader. And very soon after, I wanted to become an author. I drew, I wrote. And writing for kids, I think, is the most exciting space to be in. You get to create, which is wonderful and fun and enjoyable, but you also get to make an impact. You get to turn kids into readers, into creators in their own right. It's incredibly satisfying. I love that a teacher, it's, a teacher is what inspires all of us mm, to do very, yeah. so that's so cool because that happens to all of us. But you have a great new book out. It's super important. It is called Work in Progress. What can you tell us about this book? A Work in Progress is a fictionalization of my own experience uh, being body shamed and bullied and developing disordered eating and an eating disorder and ultimately coming out the other side of that. And why is a book like this so important? Uh, it seems obvious, but why is it so important? Especially I feel like men and boys don't talk about eating disorders yes. the same way that women are now more aware of that. Well, you said it. We don't talk about this stuff enough. It's a discussion that needs to be had much more, especially when it comes to boys. But the statistics are heartbreaking and getting worse for the amount of kids, teens, and adults who develop disordered eating, mm. eating disorders, and I think all of us young and olds could benefit from an honest conversation about our relationships with our bodies in a way that hopefully leads us to having a more positive, healthier relationship. Especially with, with our social bodies. media, all of these exactly. kids are bombarded, mm -hmm. boy, girl, everybody. So, these are a little bit different than your other books. Tell me how about some of the other books that you have, or how it how it's different then? Yeah, so this is my fifteenth book actually. So I've got a wow. bunch, um, and a librarian actually in uh, Washington. Her name is Chrissy Wright. She wrote a fabulous review of this book and she put it better than I can. She said, Jarrett Lerner has spent years making the sorts of books that kids want and this book is the sort of book that kids need. Mm. And I think she said it perfectly. I love that. And you've got some of the other titles here. So what's the age range if someone's interested in going and checking out your books? Yeah, so uh, I'm fortunate to work with a publisher who really uh, encourages me to write whatever I'm got an idea to write. So I really go from the youngest readers up to middle school, even trickling into high school. So I've got all the ages and interests covered, I think. So you do school visits too, right? So I what do you do. do when you go into school? And those are so powerful too. I can always remember the people who came and talked to mm. us, you know, and told us things, whether it be Derek Sanderson, you know, tell us the story of, of why high school kids shouldn't drink. It yeah. really resonates with kids. So mm. tell me about your school visits. Yeah, well, I love doing school visits. I do a lot all over the country. Um, but my goal at school visits, I always say, is to leave kids not impressed by what I've done and what I can do, but to leave them impressed by what they can do. Mm. So I try to peel back the curtain on the process and really leave them with the tools and encouragement to make stuff just like I do mm. and to hopefully be inspired to share their voice and creativity with I the world. I love that. You also spearhead some interesting projects. Can you tell us quickly about those? Yeah, I do a lot of fundraising and um, work to um, increase book access. Mm. So we know that when kids have books of their own and access to lots of books, they do better socio-emotionally, academically, but many kids do not have access mm. to books. They live in book deserts. So yeah. a lot of my work focuses on trying to get kids access to it's books. Pretty, pretty awesome. Real quick as we go, where can we find your books? Anywhere books are sold, online, oh, in store. And if you order any of my books from The Silver Unicorn in Acton mm. nearby, I uh, will sign and personalize them. Oh, that's them. awesome. That's near me. Go to a local bookstore and, and get his book that's or the ask best. them to order it. So, <laughs> Jarrett Lerner, thanks so much for joining us here. So, such an important topic.